This is Kevin F. Pope with the Pope's Perspective, here to talk about my most anticipated films of 2018. Now, we're already a couple months into the year, and I've already had my first anticipated film come out, which was Paddington 2. Um, you can see my review for both the first and second Paddington on the film Avenger. Yeah, good times. Okay. Anyway, so um, I am a little bit late in getting this out, but I just want to talk about the films that I'm most excited for. Now, the next film I'm most excited for actually just barely came out, and I just haven't seen it yet, and that is Early Man. So maybe some of you have already seen the film and already have an opinion of the film, and maybe some of you haven't. But I am a huge fan of Ardman animation ever since Wallace and Gromit, Chicken Run. This is from the director and creator of Wallace and Gromit, as well as he directed one of the co directors of Chicken Run. So I am just super excited for this film, and I love, 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 love stop motion animation. And Ardman is one of the studios that is still keeping stop-motion animation alive. Keep a lookout for a future video where I'll talk more about stop-motion animation. While we're on the subject of stop-motion, another stop-motion film that I am really looking forward to is Wes Anderson's Isle of Dogs. Now, Fantastic Mr. Fox, which was the, actually the film that introduced me to Wes Anderson, I'd heard about who he was and his films, but Fantastic Mr. Fox was the first Wes Anderson film that I had seen. And he definitely has his own distinct style of films. And I just... Wes Anderson is great. And he's returning to stop-motion animation with Isle of Dogs. And honestly, that's all I need. Wes Anderson, stop-motion animation, I'm sold. On that alone. Now this next film, we haven't seen a lot of publicity for yet. They haven't come up with a trailer, but Wreck-It Ralph 2 is definitely a film that I am looking forward to. The first film I enjoyed a lot. It was so much fun to watch, and in some ways it was kind of like Roger Rabbit with video games, if that makes sense. Like Roger Rabbit was a lot like nostalgia with classic cartoon characters, and Wreck-It Ralph is nostalgia for video game characters, but it was, uh, it was more than just that, and I'm someone who, I'm not a big video gamer, I'm not, I don't really play video games, however, I used to play some of the old stuff, and like some of the two, the two bit, um, we had a Atari computer. So there's definitely characters I'm familiar with, such as Pac-Man, who doesn't know Pac-Man. There's other people who are big gamers that also love Wreck-It Ralph. So I'm gonna actually give a lot of credit for that, for, for me, someone who's not a big video game person and loves the movie, and other people that are video game people that love the movie, that says a lot because it's playing on two different graphs, okay? I'm talking a lot about Wreck-It Ralph without even really talking about Wreck-It Ralph, but the whole story of Ralph as a character who's, he's created as a villain for the character and that's who he is, and then he goes and he's like, I don't want to be the villain, I want to be the hero. Um, sorry, I don't need to really give a review of Wreck-It Ralph. You know how the movie turns out if you've seen it, and it's just, it's a fun movie. And also the whole world of that video game place. Okay, so it's like Ralph's part of an arcade in, in the movie, but there's so much potential to be drawn from Wreck-It Ralph. And the second film, he's going into the internet. So it's like, hmm, well, let's see where they're going. So, yeah, I'm not actually a real fan of the title. I'm fine with Wreck-It Ralph 2, but Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, it sounds more like an episode of a TV show, but I'm not going to judge the movie on the title. Even though I don't think the title's great, I'm so 
looking forward to this movie. I'm really hoping they don't disappoint. I really enjoyed the first Wreck-It Ralph, and I am so looking forward to this second one. Wreck-It Ralph 2, a sequel I've been wanting them to make. I'm sure everybody's talking about this one. I mean, who isn't excited for Avengers Infinity War? I mean, this is just... It's an exciting film. This is the film that they have been building up towards since the first Iron Man. This is what they've been leading up to, and it's really exciting. And I gotta be honest, there have been so many superhero films lately, and I've been fe feeling some superhero fatigue. And not that these films aren't good. Some are better than others. Marvel knows how to make films. There's really, Marvel, Marvel's films are entertaining. They're really, they're really fun. Um, but I've been like, okay, I, maybe I'm going to give superhero films a break. Then, Infinity War trailer comes out. And I'm like, nope, I'm not giving up superhero films. I'm going to keep up with Marvel. I'm going to watch Infinity War. I've still got a little bit of catching up to do. I haven't seen... Thor um, Ragnarok yet, and then um, Black Panther just came out. Uh, like I said, I have been experiencing some superhero fatigue. Um, but I do want to see those. I, I'll let you get to know me a little bit better with this one. Um, I've loved dinosaurs since I was a kid. <laughs> dinosaurs are just awesome. I don't know how anybody couldn't Love dinosaurs. Boy or girl, dinosaurs are cool. So, yes, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, but there's more than just dinosaurs. Let me take that back. It's not so much, it is about the dinosaurs, but it is the movie with the dinosaurs. You can make crappy movies with dinosaurs. Um, Jurassic Park 3. Not so good. Dinosaurs! Not so good. And the reason I bring this up is because when Jurassic World came out, I had very low expectations. I loved the first film. But by the time it got to Jurassic Park 3, I was just like, this isn't a good movie. I this just isn't a very good movie. And it let me down. It was a very disappointing film. So, and it'd been a while since the last Jurassic film until Jurassic World. So I had low expectations. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed Jurassic World. Okay, and I'll admit, with its, even with its faults... That was such a fun movie to watch. I just, I, I don't know. I, love, I loved Jurassic World. Not as much as the first film. The first film is a classic. But, okay, so I'm giving you this background because that is why I'm excited for Jurassic World. And the first two trailers that they've come out with, this film looks to be that it's going to explore some new territory. In some ways, it's kind of going into Jurassic Park Lost World boundaries in some ways, because it's like, oh, they're taking the dinosaurs off the island? What's that gonna lead to? Let's find out. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I am so game for this ride. Now, I've had some sequels on this list. Um, in fact, actually, probably most of the lists are sequels. And um, in all reality, I'm not against sequels. I like good sequels. Good sequels, especially sequels that expound upon the original film. Um, some sequels, I'm like, I don't need this film. It didn't add anything. I don't care. But one film that is there one film that I am looking forward to. The Pixar film that everybody has wanted a sequel to, The Incredibles. 
is finally happening. See that smile on my face? I am not faking that. This film is exciting. Brad Bird is involved, writer and director of The First Incredibles. This last trailer that came out, I was just like, I'm brought into this same world that I left from the first film. It doesn't feel like it's abrupt or anything. Even though it's been so many years, it feels like it's just picking up right where it left off. And it's got that vibe of the first film. And that makes me even more excited than I was before. Incredibles 2, absolutely yes. Thank you, Pixar. Thank you, Brad Bird. Thank you for all of you involved for making this happen. And now we come down to the final film on my list. You may have noticed that a lot of these films do have a nostalgic value to them. And yes, I love nostalgia. Nostalgia is a lot of fun when done right. And a film needs to be more than just nostalgia. Remember I said Jurassic World. I really enjoyed that film and that was because of the film itself. It had nostalgic Jurassic Park moments in that. But as a film, I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. I'm going to be honest. I, I really liked that film for the film being the film it was. So, all right, so why am I building up all this nostalgia? Because the film I am most excited for this year is Ready Player One. This film is going to be so much fun. Okay? And anticipation for the film, I actually read the book. I'm like... I want to read that book. I want to see what this is all about. Loved it. Loved, loved, loved the book. And I'm also going to be honest with you. I'm going to be okay if they take some deviations from the book. What I want to see most of this film is like nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. And every pop culture reference that they can pack into this film because that was the fun of the book okay and a lot's going to depend on what characters and properties and things that they can get the rights to to have in this film so there's a lot of that involved okay and from what i'm seeing from the trailers it does seem like it's it looks like okay yep I remember this from the book. I remember, yep, this looks like the book that I read. There's a few differences, but like I said, I am more than fine if they take some deviations. The fun of this film is going to be the nostalgia. So just keep that solid story and nostalgia, okay? You cannot sell it on nostalgia alone. As cool as it is, you cannot sell it on nostalgia alone. But if you, you take a solid story, fill in, fill it up with lots of nostalgia, this film looks to be so much fun. Steven Spielberg, one of my favorite directors of all time, he's so perfect to direct the, this film. He made the kind of films that this film is nostalgic for. And so, like, I, I trust Steven Spielberg with a film like this. He's done some really great films. Some films better than others. But I really, I've got to get feeling about this film. I'm not saying I'm predicting that this film is going to be the biggest, best thing ever. All I can say is that I have a good feeling about this film. From what I'm seeing, it just, I'm ex so... So excited for this film, Ready Player One. Oh my goodness, yes. Now you may have noticed that these films come out at the beginning of the year or in the summer. Um, with the exception of 
Wreck-It Ralph 2. That doesn't mean that there's other films that I'm not looking forward to. These are just the films that I am most excited for. That I'm like, these are what I'm anticipating seeing. These are what I really want to see. Of course, there's going to be films that come out that I may not have even heard of yet. Or even expecting like, hey, wow, this is going to be a cool film. I don't know. I don't know what the films are going to be. I really, I have high expectations for the films that I'm really looking forward to. Please don't let me down. There's other films I'm looking forward to, like Mary Poppins, the next, the new Mary Poppins film. I'm really curious to see where they go with it. I'm very, I'm more interested than I thought I would be from that. I mean, you'd think I'd be like, no, no, don't touch Mary Poppins. It's a classic. Don't do it. I don't know, I kind of have faith in the people that are working on it that they can make something good. And I am curious about the new Mary Poppins film. Um, I'm not looking forward to it near as many as the other films. That's why they're on my list most anticipated. There's probably other films that I haven't heard of yet or haven't reached my attention or maybe I just don't think I'm going to like them and they'll just surprise me. I don't know. That's the fun of the year. This is the point of the year where we get to anticipate what is coming in the next year. And for right now, these films are going to be great. These films are going to be awesome. Nothing can change that right now. Okay? Who knows what's going to be once the films come out. But right now, it's just, it's exciting. And these are the films that are exciting me. And that's the post perspective.